Yeah, so brand new in, it wasn't even on the website, is the uh, Roller Team Tolino. They've only just finished well, setting it up, really. It's 51,770. And that's on 140 brake horsepower multi jet 3. I haven't really got a chance to have a proper look at these cabs, these new cabs yet. There's your waste and fresh water drains. Electric, obviously. Toilet cassette. Your fridge vents. Nice to see that the sliding doors on the correct side for the UK. Right, so now you've got space for, or attachments for a bike rack there. Yeah, like I say, the doors on the correct side for the UK. This is brand new in, so I'm probably the first non-sales staff person to look in it. Switch my light on. There we go. It's got the new uh, radio, LCD panel, and this is the new steering wheel. All controls on the side there. It's almost like you've got the telephone controls and the voice and the cruise control on that side, rather than being on the stick. Indicator and the wiper functions over that side. The dials get illuminated when you switch it on, as I understand, so you can't really see what's going on when it's switched off. Looks fairly familiar down that side. It's got the pressure sensor for the uh, gas levels there. Window controls look the same. The door pockets are quite different. Look like two two separate pockets now. The grab handle built into that. No blinds on this by the looks of it. Switches are quite a bit smaller. But they sort of freshen it up a bit. Yeah, quite nice. Mm. That's the uh, interior light controls. I'll look at the rest of the van. Or we'll start up here. Yeah, so you've got some storage up there. Cupboard. Cupboards here, here's your hanging space. Built in Grimsby apparently these. At the Auto Trail factory. Draw the cupboard there, a single electric points. Here's your controls up here heating controls, water, lights, your leisure, awning, pump, all fairly standard. Cupboards feel quite nice, quite a shiny feeling. Not the deepest of cupboards. But lots of them. And very long sofas. I think you could, I'm sure you could sleep on both of those lengthways without having to pull them together. 
yeah, looks like they're pulled together. Big windows. Got uh, I think they're just yeah, just on off. Right, your TV point up there. Yeah, these are massive sofas. Got to be a good six foot two. Uh, nice two berth van. Obviously, you're not going to be taking passengers with you. But then that does give you an awful lot more space at the back of it. It is a very nice, simple, straightforward van. Also, brand new in is this Auto Trail Imala 6. One five. Sixty one thousand two one zero. Alloy wheels. Yeah, I'm just obviously getting all the bits out for it. Webcam, webcam. Rear view camera on the back, fixings for bike rack, got the LED light clusters. Toilet, LPG. LPG and electricity. Nice big picture window. Again, on the new Fiat cab, Multijet 140, Multijet 3. Outside barbecue point, trimmer heating, bin, quite a step up, all the way up. It's told me to be careful with this fridge because it's got catches top and bottom. So there's two catches here, so this is quite different. So I think you need two hands for this. Yeah, you need to do. Yeah, that's unusual. I suppose it's to stop it coming open accidentally. Yeah, you have to push those both at the same time to open the fridge. It's okay unless you've got back problems. Let's have a look. Great big lockers here. See what you mean about that fridge? Yeah. They yeah, were just commenting on the uh, the fridge there. Can be very easy to get damaged at the show. That. Yeah, new Fiat cab. It's got a bit of. Let me show you that. Got a nice bit of uh, chrome trim to it now. <laughs> Please do not yank it. Yeah, this is a very sort of traditional layout though. Electric hot plate, three burner gas, grill, oven. Oh, that's clever. I was sort of expect. I'm not sure what I was expecting there, but that's your cutlery drawer. Tins drawer, I guess. And you've got lockers underneath there. All very straightforward. More lockers above. Nice splashback panel all the way along. Only a single electric socket there. Here your controls, trimmer, and your auto trail control panel. Got a Russell Hobbs microwave. Shiny one. Oh, nice. I do like these Russell Hobbs. Fortunately, still got a turntable in there, but never mind. Can't have everything. 
roof vents. Another roof up there. It's quite, it's very tall here actually, you know, because you've got this area here, but that does give you all this locker space. It's, you're not wanting for storage in this van at all. Cupboards under there. Hanging space in here. And here's your washroom. A separate toilet. Frosted glass on the washroom window. And a nice shower with bifold doors. And nice to see that you've got hanging space on there for, for wet towels. That's good. Well lit as well. Yeah, that is a nice fan. Looks like there's a lot of space in between here as well and massive sofas. Don't need to make a bed up here, you could just sleep on these quite easily. Probably just move the cushions. Yeah, oh it's good. Imagine it's quite tall. I don't know what the, probably haven't got any of the specs on here. And there's your table. There we are, quick look round. The all important fly screen on the door. Designated emergency exit. Yeah. There's a long way up and down. <laughs> now one thing you could say about water trails is you don't there's no risk of grounding when you're going on ferries. It always seems so, so high up off the ground. Yeah, handsome looking van. Let's see if we can get some specs on it. I'll come back. Little vista. You see how small they were. Ah. Ah. 